Lightning for Animate Diff is out. I'm gonna show you how to use it inside of Automatic 11.11 and also Comfy UI. Let's get started. First of all, if you don't have either, you can check it out online. You can test it here. There's not many settings. There's only two models you can use here from the pop-down menu, but you can test it for free if you want to see if you like the results. Then you have here the models you can download and you can see here that there is one step, two step, four step, eight step models. Now, even inside of Automatic 11.11, I found that for me, the Comfy UI models work better. Also down here, there's a PDF. I would suggest you check it out. There is some interesting information in here. For example, here, control nets for DV pose and also for head. You can use video to video input. So it's a very versatile model. So first of all, let's check out how to use it inside of Automatic 11.11. For the extent extensions, of course, you need to have the animated diff extension, which makes sense. You need to up update that. That is pretty important. If you don't have that, you go here to available, load from, and then here search for animate diff or go through the list, look for animate diff. And if you have installed it, you want to turn it on, you want to click on check for updates, you want to click on apply and restart. And then you go here to text to image. You set, of course, your prompt negative prompt. Then here for the settings, I found the DPM++ SDE works best with four sampling steps because I downloaded the four step model comfy UI. I use here high res fix. You don't need to use that. I'm just testing it out. I use the upscale latent with a denoise of 0.65 and then an upscale of 1.5. You can turn it off. You don't need that if you don't want to. And then down here for the CFG scale, I'm using one. Surprisingly in their PDF, when they show here examples, they show no CFG and then the steps. But for me, that doesn't work at all. So I set my CFG scale to one. And then of course, down here, I'm Animate diff, you want to turn that on and you want to load the model here. Now this goes into the extensions folder in there in the animate diff folder and in there into the models folder, 16 frames here for the settings. So in this case, um, rather short video, but I also tested it out with longer videos. It didn't work so well. So 16 seems to be the size that works best at the moment. And then you can get a result like this. This is with the high res fix upscaled a little bit. It it looks a little bit like a painting for some reason. So there's probably more testing required, but also keep in mind it's a lightning model. So probably the quality might be a little bit less and it's also a lightning 1.5 model. I also want to show you how to use it in ConfUI. My Patreon supporters get this workflow from me today. And by the way, one thing you can see here is I have the names here of the extensions where this comes from. Now, to get that, you want to go here to that window. You want to click here on the manager and then you want to go over here to batch and set this to nickname. This is going to show you where each of the individual nodes is coming from. Now here I did some extra stuff. So of course we are loading here a checkpoint. In this case, I'm using realistic vision 5.1. We have down here our special loader for the loop. Now what this does is if you have a loop that is longer than 16 frames. This will make it into multiple 16 frames videos and then merge them together. So you can set here for the anti latent 512, 512. You can also use different other ratios, batch size 16, which is the amount of frames you're using. And that you can set, for example, to 32. And then this will turn it into two 16 frame images here. Then, of course, we have here the animated diff loader. I'm using the legacy model because I feel like it's a little bit simpler to use. And in here you have the four step model Conf UI. You have to download that into the Conf UI folder in there again into the Conf UI folder in there into your custom notes and then in there search for the animated diff evolved folder. And then in there you have your models folder and there you put that model so that it can be loaded by that node. I set this to this linear animate diff scheduler here and the motion scale one. You can play around with the motion scale if there's too much motion and there. Just set that a little bit lower. And then this, of course, goes into the case sampler. Here we have the same thing. Four steps CFG scale one DPM plus plus SDE scheduler normal denoise at one in that case. And then down here, you can also play around with different VAEs to see what works best for you. By the way, you don't even need the 
this one. Sorry, this is still in here. And then over here, I have two video combiners. One is with the upscale, the other one is without the upscale. You have here the VAE decode. And then I have here again, this uh, interpolation note for tuna. And this will double the frame rate. So down here now I have a frame rate of 16. You can see this is considerably smoother than what we have over on Automatic 11.11, even though there you can also do interpolation, but you need the, the forum extension for that. And this is the upscaled version. You can see it has a lot more detail in there. It's not super sharp. Probably more experimentation is needed, but it's still pretty good and also very smooth because of the higher frame rate. So that's pretty nice. I would suggest for you to try out over here for the prompt to use a short prompt to start with and then go longer experiment with that a little bit also with the negative prompt and all of that should render super fast because it's only four steps and still you get some pretty decent quality out of that and that's it already for today let me know in the comments what you think thanks for watching and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah <laughs>